and welcome to today's session of the AWS Global Public Sector Partner Awards. I'm delighted to introduce our next guests to highlight the award for best partner transformation, best telco solution. And of course, I'm your host, Natalie Ehrlich for theCUBE. We are now joined by Abishai Charlene, Division President at Amdocs Technology and Ralph Hellebrand, Program Director of Technology at Vodafone Germany. Thank you gentlemen for joining the program. Thank you for having us. Terrific. Our pleasure. Well, let's have the opening question for both of you. Um, you know, but let's first start with Avishai. What has been the highlight to date in the journey of both Amdocs and Vodafone? Well, it's a, a it's a good question. I believe that uh, the highlight was the uh, teaming and and getting things done together as partners. Unlike many uh, previous experiences, uh, this time we understood that uh, success equals us working hand in hand together, making sure that we overcome and achieve everything um, as true partners. So the, the greatest obstacles uh, and also the biggest uh, achievement were done together as one team. We always speak about uh, the hurdles, uh, we negotiate uh, sometimes, uh, but eventually we're coming to the solution together oh, and uh, making sure that everything is uh, properly managed and properly done in the right uh, timing and according to plans. Terrific, well, Ralph, let's go to you. What do you see as the highlights of this collaboration? Now, exactly what Avishai said, but let me add to that. Um, what we are following is a real collaborative approach. Now, there's a lot of strengths in that approach because we are using, for example, swarm intelligence. We are using elements which you see in cloud attempts as well, for example, yeah, but you see it in agile attempts and, uh, and agile working methods, and this is what we apply. And as Avishai said, we are doing that as, as real partners in the program, and we are pulling a lot of strengths out of that by um, detecting problems early. We have a high level of transparency. We put everything on the table. And the difference is that we do not fight um, about the problems. We work collaborative on the solution. And, and, and that's really kind of new um, to, the, to the industry we are working in. And that's kind of game changing for it. At the beginning, we said it will be game changing if it works. Now we see that it does. Terrific. Well, why do you think, generally speaking, that the telco industry has been so slow um, to, you know, embrace these kinds of uh, innovations? So, uh, let's Abishai? start with Avishai. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, it's less about, I think, the actual technology. It's more about uh, a, a handful of parameters that need to be aligned once you uh, try to address these big transformations. You need to upskill a lot of people. You need to educate uh, your manpower uh, to new technologies and new ways and processes, how to embrace DevOps, how to work in a cloud environment how to embrace an agile, uh, safe methodology. So there are many small pockets of things that needs to be changed. Not a single element uh, actually is the same as like five years ago. So in a way, if the organization as a whole is, is not being transformed, uh, it's very tough to embrace uh, all those new technologies and, all, and, and, and succeed in such a journey. So, for us, and I think also to our partners in Vodafone, it was a mutual understanding that we need to not just work together, but also tackle uh, the new technologies and methods and processes all together and change the entire organization and ecosystem in order to succeed. In many other cases in the industry, we see that some pockets are not being changed. And then even if the technology is right, you are missing the upskilling of people. If you upskill the people and you forgot the technology and, and so on and so forth. Terrific, now Ralph, I'd love for you to respond to that question as well. So the telco industry is a quite complex industry. If you look to the product, it seems to be quite easy. You pick up a phone and you do a phone call or you go to the internet and so on and so forth. But if you think of 
all the services which you're using via your smartphone, for example, yeah, it's far away from just doing a phone call. So at the same time where the telco industry is producing and selling products, it's producing and selling services. At the same time, while you're using it for leisure, you're also using it for emergency calls. So th there's a high level of safety which we need to bring and we need to pair it with a lot of innovation elements, right? Both together. Now, if you take all this and you think of the complexity, it's not easy to introduce new methods and uh, new ways of working, et cetera, to such an industry. You, you again need to take two things into account. You need to make it very safe and stable and educated and controlled. And at the same time, you need to be very fast because it's a fast moving industry. And both together explains um, how we adopt it and why sometimes we are a bit slower than others because the try and error yeah, is not that easy because the error cannot be allowed in, in big scale. Um, the, the more I'm happy that in the approach we are taking together with, with Amdocs uh, and also AWS, we can apply these new methods while keeping the safety and stability. Terrific. Well, thank you for outlining that safety methodology. Avishai, I'd like to move this back to you. How are you redefining this operation through DevOps and automation? Well, that, uh, that's an interesting question. I think that uh, automation it needs to be baked into almost everything that we're doing in such a transformation. It starts from the you know, uh, basic technology stuff, but it goes into um, all the processes, the way you develop, the way you test, uh, the way you deploy, the, the way later on you're making sure that everything uh, run in the in the right uh, in the right way. So automation is key fundamental element in uh, in in the end-to-end -end journey of uh, such a big transformation, especially uh, if you are going into agile development and you need to uh, fail fast. Uh, react fast, change fast, and then uh, continue onwards with uh, with a new solution. So first, uh, as you rightfully said, it's automation and DevOps is also key uh, over here because you need to make sure that uh, what you develop is also something that you deploy in the right way. So you need to put in place all the right mechanism, um, such as um, infra as a code and the cloud frameworks um, and, and the relevant uh, different uh, technologies that are adhering into this end-to-end -end, uh, solution. Perfect. Now, Ralph, what are your thoughts? How are you redefining the operation now through DevOps and automation? Now, we are trying to solve a paradox. The, again, the paradox is we want to have things very stable. That would dictate us to do very detailed plans and to adhere to it and so on. This is what we did in the past. It fostered, for example, Taylorism and, and similar things. Now we want to go a step further. We want to apply agile methods, we want to dismantle um, the Taylorism and uh, uh, the techniques around DevOps, cloud operation, et cetera, agile methods help us to do that. Now, um, while we are transforming our way of working, we don't want to lose the good elements of what we have been doing before. We want to do a step forward and not at the same time a step back. And, and therefore we are combining things. And automation, for example, is one way to do that. DevOps is another way to do that. We are joining the good thinking of operations and the good thinking of development together and we are pulling additional strengths out of that while not taking in, into account or taking on board the weaknesses of the, of the former approach. So it's a stepwise transformation we are following. Automation helps us to focus on the real problems and not on the things you can automate by technology. <laughs> Terrific. Well, uh, now Avishai, bringing this back to you, Ralph talks about agility and also DevOps. Explain the journey to date on such a large uh, program. The journey, the journey in what sense? Can you uh, give me some coloring? Yeah, tell us about tell us about uh, this collaboration and keeping that in mind, keeping in mind agility as well as DevOps. 
you know, the step-by-step -step, uh, process in developing such a large collaborative program. Yeah, clear now. Thank you for uh, clarification. So I think that the journey as a whole um, had several components. Uh, Ralph was alluding and, and myself also at the beginning about the, the nature of being true partners here. But it, it, it is also about establishing something very new in the industry. Um, many of the things that we are working are, you know, the, the first time that uh, we're doing a agile manner of developing software and testing it so fast. It's the first time we're implementing the latest and greatest DevOps technologies. The first time we're uh, uh, adhering into new standards and, and, way, and, and behavior uh, from a, a modernized technology organization. So in a way, this journey is all about uh, a mixture of innovation, new stuff on one hand, aligned with a very, very tight, um, in a good way, I would call it uh, German engineering, uh, in the sense of making sure that things are in place and making sure that the processes are well-defined and, and, and we're seeing at any given uh, point the different uh, status we're in, what needs to be improved, what is going well, and, and what future lies ahead. And staying with that topic on the journey, opening to both of you, and perhaps Ralph would like to jump in here first, how have AWS technologies been featured as part of this journey? AWS has been chosen wisely uh, by us because of its technology components brought to the table. Uh, now, without now pointing to a particular service which we are using, um, we talked about uh, automation, we talked about DevOps, now everyone can, uh, can elude uh, itself about how AWS in general helps to foster that. The sheer fact that we can merge the different way of working with a different mindset of people working in our collaboration and technology components coming not only, but also from AWS, this is ensuring our success. If you would pull out one of these elements yeah, out of the equation, then most probably it would not work. I have problems to, to rate which element is more important. They are all part of the puzzle and otherwise you would not see the picture and, and, and create the picture. Um, so in a nutshell, we are utilizing the AWS technologies in order to allow the speed of development, the lots of first times which we have in our collaboration, and the AWS technologies are, in, are an essential part of that. Terrific. And Avishai, what are your thoughts on that? I think that the uh, collaboration with AWS goes in several uh, in a way different uh, shapes and form. On, la on, on the technology, pure technology level, we're utilizing uh, native uh, EKS, we're moving with the uh, managed Kubernetes, we're using uh, you know, the latest technology in databases and, and, and many other very, very uh, cool technologies coming from AWS. And on a different level, completely different level, I think that AWS understands the behavior of a complex enterprise and are assisting us with uh, programs looking into a well-architected uh, framework and how to work in a managed environment and what are the technologies that we need to utilize. And also in a, in, from an Amdocs perspective, um, uh, something that assisted us a lot in this journey we have a unique technology which defines an end-to-end -end solution to development within uh, a microservice cloud native environment. We call it MS360. AWS assisted, that, assisted us a lot in making this a mature technology and allowing us to develop faster and, and fully utilize uh, the benefits of cloud native environments. Terrific. Now to both of you, what do you see as the next step in your collaboration together? Uh, let's bring this to Ralph. There is no um, distinct next step. And maybe this is a consequence of the way of working we have established. There are many small steps we will pursue, 
And most probably, if you want to know which are the next steps, you need to talk to our teams. This is another aspect um, of, of this new way of working which we, which we apply. The people working in that approach, they tell us how they uh, construct, how they structure um, this approach. If I would summarize it, we are constantly tearing down the walls between the companies, between silos, between the partners working in that collaboration. And we are getting more close together every day um, and solving problems quicker. We are getting them quicker on the table. We are getting them uh, quicker and um, soft or faster soft. And uh, um, AWS Amdocs uh, are part of this. And this is really nice to see and be part of that this is really happening. So the next step is foster the collaboration. Avishai, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, on a personal level, I think the next step would be to glide together in Europe. But on a, on a more serious note, um, I think that uh, this this it, this is becoming like a, a true partnership. And I think that uh, I, I see a, a lot of empowerment coming from uh, uh, both sides, uh, allowing the team to uh, develop together, to think together, and to start to create new new stuff that even if you plan ahead, uh, you would never achieve without uh, true collaboration. So this empowerment, the, the, the fact that the teams feel that they can do things on their own and, and make one on one equals three, two, or, or, you know, or seven, is, is the big change that I see in front of us. And, and I really feel it in the air, and I also feel it in, in the way we act and, and we, move, we move forward. Yeah, so Ralph, how do you see that this program will enable continuous innovation? Oh, it does already. Um, so if you're looking to big transformation programs of the past, you now besides the fact that lots of them actually did not achieve what they are what they were asked to achieve, um, usually big programs do big plans and then you have a very long period of preparation. And then usually you have a rather big bang go life and then everything shall be fine. That sometimes works, but not most times it's, it's difficult. Now, within our program, we are doing that in collaboration, but step by step by step. And it's more an evolution than a revolution, which we are doing. Um, at least in the way we deploy things. Again, we are back to DevOps, continuous integration, continuous deployment, and so on. All these elements, which you can see in these approaches. Um, and, uh, and, and, and this is where the real swing lies. Um, so it's evolving step by step and it's bringing benefits step by step. So the benefits are already in place in, to, to a certain extent and they're constantly growing. Terrific, Avishai, what are your thoughts? How do you see the innovation uh, being able to continue and uh, even further? In, in a way we're in a world that everything is in continuum. So uh, it's continuous delivery and continuous development and also continuous innovation. As long as, uh, you know, the ecosystem of ours uh, continues to innovate as a whole, uh, we are part of it. And, and, and inevitably, we are uh, part of the larger ecosystem on one end and also players within it on a smaller scale in this project and, and uh, as organization. So I think innovation is baked into everything we're doing today. Um, sometimes it's a small incremental step, some, sometimes it's big, it's big innovative moves, but all in all, it's something that is uh, currently part of our DNA. Yeah. And how is the system helping you both, um, you know, be more proactive? Either one of you who would like to go first. Are you so, sure? No, I, I started first, so yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so we are data driven we are way more data driven and by by knowing exactly what is happening we can be faster we can be more innovative we can be more proactive so um in cases where we either discover a problem or we discover an opportunity we are much faster in uh, in 
analyzing whether it's really one, how shall we react on that? How can we solve it or utilize it? And, uh, and, and that's really working well. Terrific. And, um, and you know, Avishai, feel free to join in on that too. In, in the digitized economy, I think that proactivity comes a lot from, from the business side. Uh, if there is uh, something that uh, completely changed lately is the fact that business people are driving um, many, many changes on one end and technology is here to adhere on one end and flexible to, uh, to move forward. So many of the uh, proactive concepts are coming from non-technology savvy people and, and the ability of uh, what we're doing together to adjust and uh, support different uh, business behaviors and business models and also, you know, business initiatives is part of us being uh, proactive and, and being able to uh, adapt into the digitized economy. Let, yeah, let me join in on, on, on that one, what Avishai said. Um, let's think of a business person who wants to change something and you don't know whether it's a right way as a, as a corporation. Now you bring in the technology bits and pieces from different angles and all of a sudden you can combine it with a data-driven approach then you know much better how to react on this business demand and how to bring it to life by using technology. Yeah, that, that may be a very high level of example of what we're doing here. Again, collaboration, get it done together is, is, is the theme of that. Technology is a very important part of that paired with the business. Yeah, well, we talked on some, you know, very broad, uh, terms like, uh, you know, or themes, collaboration, innovation. I just want to focus a bit now on automation. Um, you know, why do you think it is so critical to the vision of this program, Avishai? First of all, because it ends with Asian and everything that uh, has this. Uh, uh, but but uh, I think that uh, uh, we started with this. Um, automation is fundamental to uh, everything that needs to be nimble, everything that needs to be fast. You cannot do it manually. And if you want to react either to a business demand or to a um, data-driven decision, um, analytic decision, if you want to adopt new technology, if you want to test a new business scenario or a technology scenario, you need automation to be part, inevitable part of everything that you're doing. So automation is, is a key element in everything that uh, we're doing. And, and it's, it's a critical uh, part of also the, uh, the way to, to look into the future and to make sure that everything is, is working the right way. Perfect, Ralph, any quick thoughts on that? Actually, nothing, nothing to add. Um, All right. Terrific. Sorry. Well, it's been so wonderful to have you on the program. I know people are coming in from all over the world to join us. Uh, really fantastic opportunity to highlight this important innovation in the telco sector. Um, glad to have you here, Ralph Hellebrand, Program Director of Technology at Vodafone Germany, as well as Avishai Charlene, the Division President at Amdocs Technology. We were highlighting the award that they won as part of the AWS Global Public Sector Partner Awards. So great to have you on the show. And I'm your host, Natalie Ehrlich. Do stay tuned for more coverage.